Um, hello everybody. This is Death and Silver Kid. Um, what I'm gonna be showing you today is how to speed up your computer a little bit. And hope this helps. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna click Start and Run and type in MS config. I'm being slow itself. Okay. You want to click start up, and you want to disable all, and this is your startup, and it really speeds it up. And unless you really want something on there, you just check the ones you want, as I have here. And then click Services. And click Hide All Microsoft Services. Because you don't want to take any of those off. And these speed up your computer. But you just want to leave on, like, your spyware. Or, whatever. And just leave that on there. Click Apply. And click OK. Mm -hmm. And just for now, we're going to exit without restart. And then you're going to click run. And click, type in percent temp for temporary files. And press OK. And these are all your temporary files, and these are whole really slow so on the Click one, or just like select all, and then press shift, and just highlight them all. And click delete the selected items. And yeah. these aren't important, these won't hurt your computer at all. Whatever, I'll do that later. So, yeah, you'd want to do that. Alright, and the last thing I show you is fragment and clean. You want to go to bar, accessories, system tools, and disk clean. This dramatically speeds up your computer and game. So if you're a big gamer and you're, and you're lagging, this will really help you. And it takes probably about um, 15 minutes and then you want to do that. But I like to use this thing called CC Cleaner. And it's the same thing except a lot better. But the disk fragmenter, um, it's just this. And it basically compacts all your files so you don't have, have them spread out everywhere. And you'll just press either analyze or defragment and just let that run. And I'll just go ahead and show you sequence. Sorry about that. Yeah, and you'll just want to click all of these. It's basically like temporary internet files and cookies, history and all that good stuff, recycle bin, and you'll just want to analyze first until that finishes, and then run the cleaner. And that pretty much sums it up, and 
I hope this video helps you. And thanks for watching. Hope you later.